Hello, Gemini Cancer Cuss. Welcome to, or welcome back to, Told is Love. If you're not someone who believes in cusps, or maybe you've never even heard of what a cusp is, this is going to be a reading for people born June 17th through the 23rd. So please let me know in the comments how it resonates and where your birthday falls. If you're a Gemini, I encourage you to check out the Gemini readings. If you're a Cancer, I encourage you to check out the Cancer readings. I also encourage you to check out the other signs in your chart, your rising, your moon, um, your Venus, or if you have another sign that you have a bunch in your chart, uh, Gemini, Cancer, Cusp, checking out all those other readings. You could find a message that resonates for you even more so than this one, and you're helping my YouTube channel grow. Uh, if you're returning, I really appreciate you coming back, Gemini, Cancer, Cusp. I hope everyone's happy, healthy, and well. Having a great uh, end of January 2024. We are one month into this new year. A um, couple pre-messages for you, but obviously I don't know how this reading is going to turn out, but I am heavily inclined to share that. I just did a collective reading, and two of the cards that I saw in that reading cut made their way into my line of sight when I was getting ready for this reading, Gemini Cancer Cusp. And that was the Ace of Pentacles and the Four of Wands, both upright. I had the um, inclination, and I haven't done it in a very long time, but I turned all the cards upright first before I shuffled, and I, re I realize now some may be reversed again, but they were all upright. So I wrote that down, turned upright, and I thought maybe someone's sorting or organizing um, things or you're just feeling, I started to think too of like a buoy in the water that maybe has been turned over and now you're upright. It was like this feeling of going the right way, facing the right way. And I don't think maybe you have felt like you were going the right way or felt the right way for a bit. But now you feel turned upright. Maybe you've uh, accepted an off offer or are just feeling very successful at the moment. Um, I got, this is specific, but it's for some someone out there. Something about cold hands. Someone could literally be having cold hands. Or I was thinking of it as like a gamble. Someone is taking gambles or has taken a gamble, and it's a calculated me cold um, measure. If it resonates, it resonates. Um, the last thing I had, Gemini Cancer Cusp, is that there is someone here who has very... There's the side that people think they know and then the actual side to you. I got a baddie softie. So someone who comes across as so confident and strong and dominant and hard and um, I'm hearing almost like lawless at their core is actually a soft, caring, um, sensitive, empathetic sympathetic individual but no one would know this the softy side is also where someone has um some sort of either pain or sickness some sort of mental health worries and anxieties going on this feeling of fatigue and exhaustion or just um this like complete other side of someone that people wouldn't know. No one would know because someone pulls it together and appears as this. This just popped in my hand, so I'm going to stop here. Appears as like this hard, put together, knows what they're doing individual. And I just get a strong feeling of like that's not what's going on either behind the scenes or underneath it all. Um, please let me know if it resonates. That seemed pretty specific, but let's see what popped. Loner, lone wolf, like lone wolf, like badass, lawless, goes to the beat of their own drum, 
like follows the path that they instinctually feel like they should be going. Um, not afraid to go at something alone. Um, ind independent. Sneaky link. Communicate with, without people, with or, it should be with or without people knowing information connection so it's not necessarily supposed to be meaning a um any rendezvous, rendezvous like a love rendezvous it could be but i feel like i'm also specifying like this is information connection this is communication between people that um <clears throat> I'm heavily getting a vibe right now of someone who keeps connections open and like doesn't have a group of friends, has just people that they know and they keep um they keep communications and connections. You know what I mean? This is someone who knows how to create friendships and connections that other people wouldn't like see or know or realize or think like you're connected to that person sapiosexual because someone really likes uh someone's like a humanitarian this is why they have this lone wolf energy because they kind of go about things by themselves and enjoy meeting new people and working with new people desperate housewife Name begins with J B K S A. Could be first name, last name, nickname. You're so similar, that's why this is happening. <clears throat> Bottom of the deck is waste of time, followed by scared to talk, followed by are you happy, followed by I have a crush on you, I love our conversations, X blank. Hmm. I think because someone has this loner, lone wolf energy, doesn't isn't afraid to go about things on their own, there's this fear that this is a time waster. Um, I'm having this like really funny, like um, <laughs> imaginary, like mythical, pe mythical creature. Well, you have to watch out for the lone wolf time waster. They appear as someone who's interested in thinking about the future and then before you know it, time has gone by that you've wasted and this person is continuing to be a loner and wants to go about things alone and <laughs> oh my god. I also got this energy of someone who was in a relationship is in some sort of situation where they are connected to someone or something that they wish they could get out of. And they have energy, they have interest in this person who's usually always single or chooses to live a um, single life. For whatever reason, I'm also reading this desperate housewife with like waste of time too. Is like someone, <coughs> excuse me, who's like desperate to be a housewife. And um, it could just very well be someone likes the show, but it's kind of an old reference for me to have in here. But I just thought like someone really wanting to be... Um, doesn't have to be a stay at home partner, but someone who um, is 
it's almost like these very opposite people. One who's used to being alone and the other one who's used to being in a connection or craves being in a connection. Um, I get a feeling of like really good conversations, even enjoying the way someone thinks. Um, recognizing in this other person that they they think similarly as I do um, or see things the same way as I do. King of Cups reversed. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Someone could have brown eyes. I think that's what's the song on right now. Brown, brown eyed women. It could be a brown eyed woman here specifically. This could be in someone's past. Someone that they were in love with. Um... This could be you. Temperance reverse. Now I have a blue eye. I have these. <clears throat> this is giving me a feeling of like watching someone or being watched. Oh my God, another eye. Page of Pentacles. Seven of Cups. So Temperance is out here too. These are the two cards I have in front of me. I feel like there's <clears throat> there's a couple things I'm starting to think. These could be previous, for some reason I'm getting like previous connections, previous major loves that you or someone has had that um, failed or fell apart and now there's this new connection that has someone feeling it's at the level of like potential and seriousness that these other connections were um i'm also get a f getting a feeling here of some sort of um imbalance with um could be emotions or it could be um drinking alcohol Page of Cups reversed. Five of Swords reversed. Three of Wands reversed. Nine of Swords. Nine of Wands. Upright strength. Uh, And there's another eye there. I mean, I know these cards have a lot of random um, <laughs> parts or whatever, but this is like a grayish blue eye.
I feel like someone's running <clears throat> feeling like they're running out of time or like running out of um, waste of time is there. There could definitely be an imbalance of emotions between two individuals. And this imbalance could be clear as day or this could be something that is what I'm going back to. Maybe someone who's more um, of the loner type and... Um, Death, Scorpio, kind of came out weird. I don't know how to take it. I think I'm going to take it up, right? Five of Wands, reversed. Someone is, um... Queen of Cups, reversed, is over here. The Hierophant... It's almost like they're fighting. Someone's like going through these changes within themselves that are like maybe some deep seated wounds. Like this is some old, I'm getting shit. It could be heartbreak, hurt. And like, I get the feeling of like they're fighting the change. Three of Cups. I just saw that one too. Magician. Gemini Aries energy. Okay, Jesus Louise. This just read so easily in my last reading in my head too. I feel like there's something here about, um, God, I don't know how many freaking readings I've had this, but I get the feeling of someone stuck on past pain. Like, let me just literally lay the cards out. Someone stuck on past pain that they celebrated, they were in love, they didn't want anybody else, like this is who it was for them and it was not good, it was unhealthy, there was a lot of arguing, partying, drinking, but someone had in their head that this is what they wanted and this is who they loved and, um, and it didn't work out. And it didn't work out and I think this person has been stuck on that and they recognize and realize in order to make things upright in their life, it's going to take a lot of work. Um, I feel like I'm just reading the Justice card, the Hierophant card, again with that Queen of Cups, again, Eight of Swords, and now Temperance Upright. There's someone here who may come across as put together and this could be the baddie on the outside but a softie on the inside. Like the, 
the truth is they're still stuck on shit that has happened to them in a previous relationship or divorce or some sort of ending. There's another, I feel like, energy here. This is another way from, I'm reading it, and if it resonates, please let me know. Like, there's this newer energy. Like, this is the new love. This is the new person who is not accepting bare minimum love anymore. And it's like, if this is going to go forward, someone needs to rise to the occasion because they wanted to move forward, but this is what needs to happen. And it's going to take work put in work to get upright and to be on the same level and the truth is the reason why this hasn't gone forward or why it may feel like someone is stalling or this someone still hung up on past shit that they had to I get a feeling of like someone didn't want this to go like this and this could have happened 10 years ago it could have happened 10 months ago this is not what they wanted it to do. This is not what they wanted at all. Someone was happy with this, even if it was a relationship that was a pretty different dynamic, maybe it was a three person relationship or um, a sense of friendship first and then companionship lovers after that but like first and foremost you felt like this was your best friend and it's like they're still thinking about that old relationship even though it's over even though it's way in their past even though there's a whole ass new connection right here that it's like I, I get the feeling of they know um <laughs> They're not putting in like the leaps and bounds that they know they would need to put in to make this um, victorious. The moon, cancer energy. Nine of wands reversed. The hierophant. I think they're very, holy shit. The order of these cards just flipped in that shuffling. Oh my God. So I'm thinking like, cause the truth is that it's hidden and still isn't. Why, even though they're in a connection, but it's not feeling like it's rising to the king or queen of cups level. It's still just page of cups on their side. I'm saying because they're still stuck on or hung up on something that happened in the past. Literally, it could be the, the person themselves they're still hung up on. Or it could be the fact that it ended and like they, the feeling of they'll never have that again or like something they're stuck to with the past. I just keep going with. This is what they've been hiding, trying to hide. This is your person who's acting one way on the outside, but on the inside, you no one would know, never know that they're pulling it together. The truth is they know that the connection that they are currently in that is imbalanced, we got nine on one side, 10 on the other, and is heading towards, I feel like, some something committed. They know that that's where it's going. Right now it's imbalanced, but it's still going ahead. They know it's heading towards commitment. And the truth is, they're very scared and worried about that. This is that new energy or this is the old energy that they're still hung up on. This is why it never gets like an upright cup. But it's still moving forward. And I feel like there's potential for happiness. Unless you read this as someone recognizes they're not going to get what they want. They hit the dusty road and then they are on to what they want or who they want. But this was just being read before as the truth is this person is hung up on a past connection relationship and now they these are flipped and i think they there's something here about the truth is they are really scared about commitment motherhood parenthood um what someone is looking for this is my king of cups in the beginning and someone's only at the page of cups level 
This is why part of it's all imbalanced and why I'm even seeing the 10 and nine of wands right next to each other, but upside down. I think this was like this. I'm gonna go to this deck. 10 of swords. Knight of Wands. <clears throat> I feel like a cycle is ending in someone's life. The Tower. They are springing into action. Heading towards stability and happiness. If it's job related, it's like leaving the job and starting somewhere else. And like your loss is a big one. Whoa. Kind of six of cups, but it was weird. Queen of cups is now upright. All right, now I know why I saw that six of cups. Someone's definitely springing into action. To, springing into action to head towards commitment and happiness. They have faced... This is heavily giving me someone who's been divorced before. Could be you, her in the past... But now you're on, you're heading towards making effort in, taking control of some sort of connect, connection, commitment that um, I just keep hearing someone will spring into action. It's like maybe this is the lone wolf realizing they need to give up their lone wolf ways and they found a, the person that they are giving that up for. Um, there's something here about like the... The care and the love that someone brings to a person. Um, this is wife or husband material. This is why this person's springing into action. Because this is what they would want for commitment. Um, oops. Let's get one more card. I was just about to say, because it was taking a couple seconds there for a card to come out. I was going to say, one of my favorite quotes is like, Rome isn't built in a day. So you got to give things time. If you set the groundwork, you lay the seeds, and then you help it grow, but you have to let it grow. I'm thinking of a TikTok person whose meal, she goes, love it and leave it. Like, set it aside. Ten of uh, swords to ten of cups doesn't happen overnight. But the action is here. Someone is springing into action, making changes that will change the way they've been doing things or will leave behind whatever needs to be left behind because they're doing it. And maybe even the, the leaving behind what they're leaving behind is what creates this tower moment in whomever's life, maybe in, even in their own. This could be changing of habits. This could be changing jobs, changing of lifestyle giving up singledom and making the ultimate leaf to head forward towards who someone they care a lot about and happiness happily ever after. Oh my God, and it's back at the bottom of the deck. I can't get this reading any better. Jesus Louise, like action is being made. Action is being taken. Gemini Cancer Cost, please let me know how it resonates. Uh, I hope you have a awesome beginning of February 2024, and I will talk to you soon.